Hello everyone. If you are watching this video, then chances are very high that you will become a mental health professional in future. Because if you are finding this kind of video interesting, means you are made for psychology. You are made for this subject. A master in psychology is a very important stage that every person who wants to become a psychologist has to go through whether they want to become a clinical psychologist or counseling, social, child, industrial or neuropsychologist. Every day, hundreds of messages or mails I receive for suggestion on how to prepare for MA, MSc Psychology and Applied Psychology. In this video, I will try to explain basic strategies for preparation very objectively so it will be easy for you to follow. I hope this video will guide you to crack entrances. In this video, we will talk here only about those universities whose entrance is based on psychology. I will make a separate video for how to prepare for exams such like TIS, AUD, etc. So for effective preparation, we can divide our strategy into four sections, four parts or four stages are there. First, knowing the syllabus. There is uniformity in the syllabus of most of the government universities, but there may be variations in the syllabus. Like in some universities, few questions may be there from general awareness or in other universities, there will be few more questions right from biopsychology or research method or cognitive psychology. So it is really very important to understand the pattern in beginning. To understand this pattern, you can use the previous year question papers. Now, if you are aware about previous year question pattern, then second step will be choosing useful content to read. While doing preparation, right, when you are doing preparation for psychology entrance exams, along with a study, it is also important to understand what to study. Because it is impossible to read the whole psychology at the time of preparation. So if you have entrance oriented content, then it helps a lot. You can ignore those theories that are not important or chances are very low that question or question from uh, this particular section will be there in examination. So you can ignore all those sections or theories. It will help you to devote your time for important theories and principles. So you can collect books for preparation, right? and list of books I will mention in the description. But 10 to 12 books can be difficult to read in limited time, so you can use your bachelor's handwritten notes. But if you do not have notes or you are from non-psychology background, then you can take help of your mentor or faculty of psychology in your college. You can request them to help but if you have sufficient time and you are clear with syllabus, then you can use books. So now if you have appropriate stuff, content, and if you read them, now it's time to do practice. Practice is as important as reading. There are many books available in the market. You can use those books to practice, but in almost all the books, there you can find too many errors that can create confusion and you can feel uncertain. So during practice, if you are developing doubts, don't follow them blindly. Contact your teacher to resolve that particular doubts. And if you want to use you know, other reliable sources instead of using books, then you can take help of your mentor or you can use UPS Education's e-learning platform. 
and after practice or during the practice if you are finding any difficulties so you need to correct them so that is our fourth step finding and correcting mistakes we sometimes make mistakes while solving questions because either we do not understand that particular theory clearly or our understanding can be wrong always take the help of your teacher in this particular situation and try to clear the concept discussing theories with the teacher will definitely help you to improve your marks in examinations sometimes what happen you will be aware about the theories but due to poor analysis at the time of solving questions you will do mistake to improve the analysis analysis capabilities you can request your mentor to present a few model questions and their answers from each and every chapters and you can also request them to explain why they have chosen the certain options and do it regularly it will definitely improve your performance and after finding or correcting mistakes fifth stage will be very important this last but very important step is enjoy this particular subject build a relationship with psychology and consider them as a first love believe me if you will spend time with psychology you will fall in love with this subject then and there i mean to say if you like to study psychology then other things will become easy automatically and if you are watching this video till now believe me you have that passion to be a psychologist and you have potential to become great mental health professional how we make sign of love yes love for psychology so know your syllabus collect perfect stuff or content do practice find and correct mistakes be in touch with your mentor and most importantly fall in love with this subject if you have any queries and any doubt don't hold it reach to us with your doubts you can mention your doubts in comment box bye take care all the best <music>